17. Time for our hometown spotlight presented by Dave Edwards Toyota. It's Valentine's week, so it's fitting that we tell you a love story. Yeah, in Simpsonville, two people who lost love got a second chance thanks to a local assisted living center. And 7 News is Christine Scarpelli and photojournalist Ryan Goodman are live at the Springs this morning with yes. more. You're introducing us to some great people, Christine. I hope you've enjoyed them so far. I know I have. Everybody here at the Springs in Simpsonville is really a ball, frankly. And bright and early, too. You guys are up and, and moving around. We even had some residents you guys saw just a couple of minutes ago. Rudy, so sweet. Rudy's actually a veteran and um, enjoys talking about that. I know, but we've got Hunter here right now. He's the owner of this place and knows Curtis and June very well. Curtis and June, they are kind of our Valentine's Day story. We've been showing you a little a little taste of what you'll see later. you got to Tune in at noon and five to see their story, their love story. Um, but you can see a little bit of it now. They live right here at the Springs. Hunter, you have a couple run-ins with these two, right? What have you noticed about them? Well, we, my wife is one for making sure the furniture is always in place. Oh. And so we move, we make sure it goes back where it was. Well, these two chairs sit over here by themselves. Okay. And, and so we moved the chairs back and we kept moving and moving. And finally, we learned that that's June and Curtis's seats <laughs> and that those two chairs have to to be there every day or else we have big problems. So oh. we've learned to keep the chairs where they are. Understood. Very good. You, your father, and another partner here in the community were really instrumental in putting this here. Um, bringing this facility for those that maybe need a, a nice place to, to live and they don't have to live alone in their later years. And is that important to you to kind of keep this going, keep the, uh, the staff here getting to know the residents like they do? Well, that's the key to the whole thing. It's, it is their home. We want it to be their home, uh, the next best thing to their home. And uh, my father had the vision, saw that, that he was going to need it and he wanted other people to have the opportunity. We didn't have one in Simpsonville at the time and so this became a way for him to take care of himself and take care of the community at the same time. Awesome. And now some of the great residents can find companionship here. So we appreciate oh, yeah. that too. Plenty more coming up, guys. I know you saw just a little taste there. St tune in at noon and five. You're going to love this story. Fred Sibylla, you excited? We are excited. What a loving place. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Christine. Great story.